Thank you. So I'm here with uh, with uh, Enzo Macronelli and, and Ashley after your, your big win in uh, here at the uh, Brangwyn Hall. First of all, from you, what do you make of your own performance? Obviously, it's a difficult uh, sort of fight to to pick apart just because the nature of it. What did you make of your own performance? Oh, that was it was hell, wasn't like it was toe to toe all the way through. I to be honest, I didn't expect it to be like that busy all the way through, but I'm happy with it overall. At what point of the fight did you realise, yeah, she's not stopping, I'm not stopping, this is us for the for the six rounds now? Yeah, I think quite, the, you know, towards the end of, like, the third round, I thought this is, you know, this is going to be like this all the way through, really. And then for yourself, Enzo, obviously, you know, as she said, you, you didn't know that was going to be the, the, the type of fight. Um, how did you guys go about preparing for, for a, a fighter that's had a lot of fights, so you know a lot about them? What was the sort of things you worked on? We didn't know a lot about her, and um, we're, still, we're still trying to discover Ashley's proper weight, you know, she made better weight today. Um, I did. I think she's super bantam weight, and you can see how strong the girl is and natural at that weight. She's got thick set at the top. Um, and to be honest, she she was typical South American, hard as nails. Uh, when she came out, Ashley met her head on. Uh, I said, I remember saying to Ashley, I said, look, she's gonna keep, she's gonna blow herself out. She can't keep her pace up. There's no chance, and she did. I said, I can't believe it. So Ashley had to dig in. Um, it, was a, it was a close fight, I'm not going to lie, it was a close fight. I think the last round pinched it for Ashley. Um, I will think she knows an answer to that. Um, I think the last round won in the fight. She'd done what she was told in the last fight. Uh, and she could have done a lot of things different. But then on the other side of things, the girl didn't let her. You know, she tried to box, the girl was just in her face. She didn't care what was coming back to her. So for me, that's Ashley's second ever, not just pro fight, second ever boxing match. And it, it, was, a, it was a tough, grueling fight. And you know, hats off the girl. What a what a scrapper. Obviously, so the, the the fight was very tight in terms of the scores in the end. Um, I think I heard yourself saying, um, "Get yourself some space, find yourself some distance during the fight." Um, do you think that was the difference maker for you, being able to almost take a step back from the pace and and find your shots, or or did you just you know was it dig in and, and show your heart? Yeah, I think at the like at the start of the rounds, I was trying to box a little bit more and make a bit of distance, but. She literally, she wouldn't really allow it. She was on, I know, for, for front drive all the way through, and it was toe to toe all the way through in that case. So. Obviously, that sets you up two and zero now um, on your first two fights. Um, where do you go forward from this? What's your your aspirations? Um, have you got any names, any any sort of uh, venues, anything like that that you you want to see from your career? Um, like I said, I'm I'm just starting out at the minute, so like I'm taking it step by step and just seeing how it goes so far. And what about yourself? Do you see Ashley getting, you know, all the way to the very top? What do you think? Uh, where's the ceiling for Ashley if, if there is one? Look, the ceiling on her attitude towards boxing is the top. You know, that is her ceiling. She gives everything she's got. She trains as she can. She listens to everything. What she's going to do, I'm not going to come on here and say she's going to do this and do that. I'm not going to lie to her. I think that she's going to do that. But what I will say, when she learns what she's doing properly. You know, I couldn't remember that's her second ever boxing fight. And there's been a fight like Alan win in the way that she did. It just shows you the type of character she is. But the way she's gonna go, it'll all take learning. It'll all take uh, a few fights, different opponents, different styles. You know, I, I, I am expecting big things of her, but it's one step at a time. You, you gotta run before you walk. She's still a novice, she's still a baby in this game. Uh, and it's up to her to listen, to adapt to everything I say, to have her own mind as well, not just about listening to me, have her own mind in there as well. Um, she's done a lot of things right tonight, she's done a lot of things wrong tonight, but it's all work. It's all work in progress. If I come on here and tell her she's brilliant or less, she has nothing to learn from and she thinks it's going to be easy. And she knows I'm not that type of person. So on Monday, I'll let her enjoy the night, I'll give her a fucking ball again on Monday night of what she's done wrong, and then we'll go from there. And then last but not least, I'll obviously let you get off and, and get into bed fairly soon. Um, this was a lovely event, a brilliant event full of great fighters. From both of you, how important are these sorts of events for, for Welsh boxers, for, for, for you know, the small hall boxers like yourself, making this part of their career? How important are these events? Of course, they're, like, they're very important. This is where we all like learn, isn't it? It's where we all start out and where we all learn. So yeah, very important. It's an amazing venue, amazing show put on, um, and a great night overall. And obviously, yourself, you've had some huge nights in your own career, um, but how important are these these smaller fights? Massively important. These are, these are the type of fights where Ashley, you know, out of the limelight, so to speak, not on, not on TV, not on Sky, not on BT, 
gets a ruin a tree, he's a player tree. Same as the other fighters, the fighters set up for the sell tickets in their hometown. So you get sell tickets in their hometown and they get the fights, they get experience and go from there. You know, this is where we all start. I I won a big name in the amateurs, you know, it, it, it was sort of different then days of one so high profile as it is now, so I won a big name, I turned pro, not a lot of fanfare. I had to build myself up, I done on the small little shows, build myself up to the big show, went to the bigger show, and I went to the bigger show. Lovely. Thank you very much. Have a good evening, guys. Thanks.